Welcome back. We are here on Etero and looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Etero where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. So the link's down below. You're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and, um, well, Basically, from Friday, Saturday, and also now on Sunday, it has been rallying. And we are right testing the middle of the bullish band here at the 56,000. Uh, 56, so every time you think that this basically is going to fall apart, it basically rallies. So the 50 is offering significant support. So is the 20 exponential. So we can see it in this area here. We can see it here and so on and so on. And uh, yes, it is still in uptrend. Uh, we are still... This is probably going to retest the previous highs of uh, 60, uh, 61,000, give or take. Um, if you break below the 20 exponential, then the 50 offers support. Break below the 50, then we could drop significantly down to 40,000 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. But it does not seem like that is going to be the case. So at the moment, break about the middle of the bullish band, open the door to the previous highs here. And if that breaks, then we can go to uh, 65,000 and, uh, and 70,000. So let's look at Etrum. Etrum, very similar here. We fell all the way down to the bottom. It looked terrible for nearly two weeks. And we hit the bottom of the bullish band and then it rallied. 1700 is where we're trading at the moment, but we still haven't broken above the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average. If that, if they offered resistant and this goes back down, then we could go and test the 1500 and probably even lower than that, all the way down to 1000. So technical indicators, they are all turning around for this cryptocurrency. It's still very much alive, but break above the 50 moving average, that opens the door to give or take 1900 and probably 2000. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is basically all over the place at this current stage. So uh, on Friday, we had a really nice rally up towards the top of the bullish band, broke down again on Saturday, and now on Sunday is basically all over the place. We're still trading above the, the 20 exponential. Uh, the 50 has offered support, the 20 is offering support. So at this current stage, we are basically just trading sideways. Top here at give or take uh, 1.3, and the bottom at the, the 50 moving average, that is 1.06 at this current stage. Technical indicators, they are all fairly flat. So that's basically all because we're just trading sideways at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has also hit the bottom here at uh, 166 and is now slowly trending up towards the 20 exponential. There is not a lot of uh, momentum in this uh, a cryptocurrency at the current stage 20 exponential will most likely offer um resistance so will 50 and so will the middle of the middle of the bullish band a break above these moving averages that could open the door to the to the highs here of 221 but still there's not a lot of movement even though we had this massive fall here towards the bottom this should be much more bullish uh, if we're going to break significantly above but we'll see Break below this um, candlestick here that could open the door to one, uh, 150 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average at 112. Technical indicators, they are looking uh, fairly bullish at this point, except for the MACD that is bearish. So let's look at NEO. So NEO is looking much more uh, better at this current stage. So on Friday we rallied, on Saturday we basically were really choppy, and now on Sunday it's rallying towards the top of the bullish band. Trading at 43, um, top of the bullish band is at the 40, uh, 44. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. Also the MACD is crossing the signal line. So this could be another run at the very highs that we saw back in mid-February before we absolutely fell apart. It has been trading, um, trending, uh, well, trending upwards, but it's been a very bumpy ride. So the 50 has offered significant support. So has the 20 uh, for most of the time. So until we basically break below those uh, moving averages, we are going to continue, most likely going to continue in this trend up towards 50. And uh, beyond that, uh, well, anything basically can happen at this current stage. So let's look at Dash. 
So that is uh, definitely not having um, a good period at this period, at this stage. After this massive fall here in mid-February, it has basically just drifted sideways for a time, and now it's basically broken down and trading sideways again. We're trending underneath the 20 and the 50 moving week average. Technically, they are well, they are turning around, but they are still in they're fairly bearish at this point. You most likely find resistance at the 20 exponential at 209. And if we break down from there, then we could head all the way down to the 200 moving average at 119. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios. And you're welcome to follow us here and copy us elsewhere at Ethereum. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.